Yo, yo, what's up, design lifers? Welcome back to the channel. It's Jimmy, and today I'm gonna be doing a video on how to sketch a helmet. Uh, this is asked by Andrea Stern, so I promised I was gonna do it, so here you go. Uh, more of a generic one, not something that's super crazy, you know, like this futuristic freaking space helmet thing <laughs> even though it looks really cool i think i'm gonna do something more generic something like this and drawing a helmet it seems easy but it's actually very difficult just because it's not quite a sphere it's like an egg shape but then it's very irregular in certain areas like this bottom part has a very large flat end and this is obviously where you insert your head and then there are a lot of different surfaces and different contours like what you see in the rear here and drawing helmets i would be honest with you guys it's not my forte it's not something that i've drawn very much of in the past if you haven't yet go ahead and go to designlifebrand.com to grab yourself an awesome design life sketchbook so you can you know go ahead and have the same sketchbook and just sketch along with me as you watch this video and future videos all right guys so let's just jump into it let's go Alright guys, so I'm gonna start this sketch off with an ellipse. So go ahead and sketch that if you have your Design Life sketchbooks out sketching along with me. Um, and then I'm gonna start kind of adding in the details, but right about now you guys are probably thinking, Jimmy, I can barely see anything. Why are you sketching so light? This is what you guys should be doing as well. When you're first starting off a sketch, especially if you're drawing something that you're not used to, you should be drawing lightly because you don't want to be committing so much initially and you might want to change that later down the line that line you know so you see how I'm sketching something but you know it's not quite right so I draw the line again you guys see that if you look closely um, that's pretty much the benefit with sketching lightly is that later when I start darkening things in um, it's essentially gonna kind of disappear and you're only gonna be focusing on the heavier line so you see right there I just literally uh, fixed that rear end it still looks very weird but Right now I'm feeling pretty confident with the visor, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of darken that in. And really guys, the hardest part of a sketch is the initial construction drawing because you know that's gonna either make or break your sketch. Is it gonna look wonky or is it not? And you could really tell immediately right off the bat um, if it's gonna look wonky or not because of the construction sketch. So make sure that you really nailed it before you start darkening everything in like what I'm doing right now. So right now I'm really just kind of adding in some details as I go, you know, moving from one place to the next. So I just did that mouthpiece right there as you guys can see. And I'm not going to spend too much time on this sketch. I just kind of want to like lay down the generic, you know, the most largest uh, areas and some of the contour lines, but I'm not going to be doing a lot of the mechanical aspects and details and stuff like that. Um, but if you guys are sketching along with me, like go ahead and try to just tweak things along during that construction area and you know when you draw a line and it doesn't look quite right just draw it again and if it's still kind of like in your face that line that you drew that was kind of wrong then you know you're drawing a little bit too heavy so kind of lighten up on that pen you know figure out a way how to sketch with it and not lay down such a heavy line um, I really like ballpoint pens you see me sketching with this big four color pen is because uh you can really lay down a really light line but if you want to you could also kind of add a little more pressure and lay down a heavy line so you know i'm pretty happy with this sketch at the moment so far um it still isn't quite right but you know for being uh, not a a usual helmet sketcher. I'm pretty happy with it at the moment. You know, I think the rear, as you guys can see, it's just poking out just a little bit too much. Um, I would would I would go ahead and fix that if this was like a project of mine that I was going to be showing other people. Um, I would do an overlay. So an overlay is going to be really good if you want to have a crispy, crispy drawing without any of those like wrong construction lines. What you would do is. Um, take essentially this sketch that I have right now and just draw kind of like as dark as you possibly can You know try to make it as precise as you can but dark and the reason is because later You're gonna be adding another page on top of this one and then you're gonna kind of trace it But then you know fixing some of the issues that you did on the underlay and so you know overlays and, and Utilizing that technique is very very helpful, but that's about it guys. I hope you learned something from this video I hope you liked it Andrea um, Definitely let me know if there's anything else you guys want 
want me to sketch down in the comments below. Also, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future videos. And also, guys, go to designlifebrand.com to grab yourselves one of these sketchbooks so next time you will have one to sketch along with me. All right, guys, that is about it. My name is Jimmy, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.